Okay then, so here we are back in the games room and I've got 45 minutes, uh, that's <laughs> what's actually left on my uh, card to go through uh, what, I've got on, what I've got on here basically. Won't be as in depth as the other videos I've done recently because they, uh, yeah, I've, I've shown basically everything in those collections, uh, PS2, Xbox, stuff like that. I'm going to give you an overview of this because I've got to I've got to basically clear it out today and tomorrow so I'm not going to have enough time to go through everything or uh, because I'm going to have to I'll have to shuffle all the files around on the on the PC as well so um <laughs> the floor's a bit of a tip we've got a, a mega drive down there some kind of capture device there's me uh, my trusty old Saturn and uh driver there driver uh limited edition what else have we got? So I've got a rack here with uh, quite a few consoles on. So there we go. We've got a, a, an Xbox uh, arcade pad. We've got my trusty old uh, Xbox 360, which is very, very dusty. Not Xbox 360, it's just standard Xbox. And there's my uh, PC Engine Core Graphics 2. Another, uh, <laughs> yeah, another Sega Mega Drive. One of them I'm going to do a import mod on at some point. We've got my trusty Release One DC there as well, and uh, Mark One Master System, which has got a nice layer of uh, <laughs> of, of uh, dust on it, and uh, one of these dodgy old. Uh, Controllers here as well. Oh, there we go. There's the Super Nintendo. There's the Beast. <laughs> uh, yeah, my my old Super Nintendo. This is a Street Fighter 2 pack version. Uh, I've had it for years. It is my favourite console. Not uh, the Super Nintendo in general is my favourite console, but this is my favourite console. It's got so many fond memories of this. Got some games over here as well. Let's have a look what we've got. We've got the infamous uh, Phalanx there, or Flanx, or whatever you call it. Some uh, quite a few shmups on here. Axley, Final Fight 2, Salt Suits Vulcan. We've got our uh, Ikaruga ships there as well. Coincidentally, they've just announced the uh, the 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 Genki ship's going to be uh, created into one of these sets, so I'm really looking forward to that. I'm, you know, doubt I'll know that I'll get it. Gradius three, Arkanoid, Thunder Spirits, <laughs> Macross Scrambled Valkyrie, Mario Kart, Dozemon. So uh, yeah. <laughs> Quite a few uh, consoles on there. There's a there's an old Game Boy Advance as well. I think I've got about three of those. Uh, CRT TV. I showed this yesterday. Underneath here we have got a <laughs> a white Sega Saturn Japanese. Love this console, absolutely love it. Pick that up dirt cheap. I think it's only about 15 quid, and it's uh, such a sexy console. Uh, under here, there's a couple of um, Xbox 360 remote, no Xbox remotes, and we've got a toaster NES as well. Uh, over here, we've got an uh, an amp for a <laughs> for a guitar. Which is uh, which is actually there. <laughs> uh, what else have we got? I think I showed some of this the other day. Yeah. So let's have a look up on the top of there. There we go. And what have we got over here? We have got. Uh, Special limited edition uh, yellow Game Boy with uh, Super Mario Land and the uh, 
What's he got as well? Super Mario Land 2 and the Golden Coins. He's got a, he had a carry case that one as well. Box for the Wii. N64. Uh, that's the uh, it's the Golden Eye pack. Is that one? And we've got the uh, we've got an oversized Super Metroid. Uh, yeah, uh, oversized box Super Metroid. Again, bought that one from release. I think I paid about fifteen quid for that brand new. And uh, Game Boy Player. There's a little Pac-Man game here. GameCube controller, DS Lite. Donkey Konga Konga packs. There's a uh, there we go. There's a Vanquish uh, limited edition um, model as well. I talked about that in one of the previous videos. All Japanese. Um, there we go. SNES games that I've got. Some PAL behind there as well. Quite a lot of Konami games. The ones which I think I've got really nice artwork I've kept on the on the front there. <laughs> There's Grady's 3 box up there. Uh, loads and loads of um, Game Boy Advance games as well. I'm a bit kind of mad. <laughs> um, I went a bit mad collecting these at one point. Um, Japanese Darius R. Astro Boy as well, Japanese version of that, such a cool game. We've got Nemesis, well we've got the original Nemesis there, box complete. We've got the Return of the Hero which is Nemesis 2, which is quite difficult to get complete and boxed. We've got a, there we go, let me just pull that out. Famicom version Game Boy Micro, that's a US version. We've got some R Type final dog tags there. A couple of, uh, there's those uh, two Game Boy Advances I was talking about. That one's unopened, it's uh, the, the platinum uh, silver one. Box for the, uh, oh, there we go, Neo Geo Pocket. We've got Metal Slug, which is the one game that I've got on the system. Uh, there's a Games Converter for SNES. There we go. There's my uh, Neo Geo Pocket. I fucking love that system. It's a great system. Best joystick on any handheld. And there's a load of N64 games there. I think there's some N64 games in here as well. Oh no. There's a lot of handheld stuff in here. The original Game Boy there. Yeah. N64 carts. VMU by the look of it. There's the uh, Box Mile Elite. A couple of um, NES games in here as well. They're getting quite slightly squashed. Bad Dudes vs Dragon Ninja. An absolute classic. <laughs> oh. We got Double Dragon as well. Another another classic on the uh, on the NES. Loads and loads of uh, there we go. Loads and loads of uh, GameCube games. Ikaruga. Chaos Field. Mori Karuga, <laughs> Zelda the Four Swords. Here's a quite an interesting one down here actually. And it's, uh, there we go, Trigger Heart Exelica PS2. This is the uh, enhanced version and this is the limited edition. Uh, it's never cheap to buy this one. Um, you can pick it up reasonably priced now um, but it's a, it's a really really cool set and I'm a fan of the series so um, so it's, it's a welcome addition and there we go there's the daddy the uh, the Neo Geo a AES and we've got Last Resort there and if we look behind here we've got a whole stack of uh, AES games 
and we've got quite a few comic books down there as well. I think that's probably a little part of the collection. I'm not really into comics anymore. I used to be hugely into comics at one point. Uh, compulsive collector and hoarder. <laughs> I always have been, I think. A uh, load of um, DS games as well. A load of uh, PS2 games. Uh, that's for another project that I've got in the works, which I'll talk about at some point. Uh, we have, if we have a look in here, there's um, there's a gun con in there. There's another one. There's my case for my Japanese uh, PS2. Uh, box for the Neo Geo. We've got the. <laughs> there we go. We've got the Regulation Seven DC box as well. And I suppose that the next. Let me just move some stuff out of the way. I suppose that the next kind of shelves are the, are the kind of the really interesting shelves in terms of uh, if you're into shmups. Again, this video won't capture everything, but it'll catch a lot of it. Up there's the Sega Saturn the control stick. We've got the all the Dreamcast stuff as well. That's a uh, day one stuff. Two boxes for uh, Sega Saturns. Um, one one is a replacement for another. <laughs> and what else have we got? Oh, there's a Dreamcast controller there. So we've got um, there. We go. We've got PC Engine and Mega Drive here. Salt Suit Lanos. Let's have a look. Soldier Blade. Air Zonk. Oh, I can't remember what that is. Some game. Outlive, sorry. Again, can't remember what that one is. Ordine. Gradius. Hyperdyne Sidearms. Whew. We've got Curse on the Mega Drive. There's so many Mega Drive games here, it's it's unreal. Um, there we go. Atomic Robo Kid. Strider, Air Diver. Behind here there's a load of um PC Engine games as well. Yeah, some really nice stuff in there. I will um I'll pull a few out. Chase HQ, Bomberman, we've got ooh, R Type in there as well, a couple of Super CD ROMs games in there, there's loads of shootings in there actually. Uh, lots of Spree Turbo Challenge, oh, just knock something off. Legendary Axe, Fatal Rewind. Dangerous Seed, Gaiares, Fire Shark. What have we got up here? Golden Axe 3. <laughs> I think there's Darwin up here as well. Yeah, there we go. Darwin 48. 48-1? Yeah. See Super Turrican up there, that's been donated by someone. So there's loads and loads of Mega Drive games over there. DC games, we've got an absolute shit ton of uh, shmups across here as well. Complete DC collection. So there's a, uh, you know quite a few interesting titles in there. I'll put this on the tripod and we can have a look at it properly. Okay then, um, that's better. <laughs> Twinkle Star Sprites, all these are uh, with spine card obviously. Virtual Arm. Let's have a go. Mars, we've got Mars. Mars Matrix, 
Saivari R2. Giga Wing 2, Virtua Fighter 3. Yep, uh, Castle Shikigami 2. Radigi, uh just Radigi actually, that's the uh, Sega Direct edition. Zero Gunner 2. Got a whole load of power games at the back of here as well, stuff like Marvel vs. Capcom, Soul Calibur, Giga Wing. <laughs> Border Down. What a classic. Gunbird 2. Chaos Field, Last Hope, Res, Trizeal, Ikaruga, Cosmic Smash. We've got Ducks, we've got the Standard Edition and the Limited Edition as well. Under Defeat Limited Edition, Last Hope Pink Bullets, Fast Striker, and we've got actually, I think that version of Fast Striker showed you was a limited edition, and that's the standard edition. Great game, that. Trigger Heart Exelica and Carus, and that's the Sega uh, Direct Edition of Carus. We've got, look at that, Granada X, which is a great game. Very underrated shooter, that one. Oh man, I'm going to get all these back in here, there's lots of juggling involved, I think. Shall we have a look at the Saturn shoot em ups? I think we should, I think it's only right now we're here. <laughs> so, I'll get a pile out here. These are not always spine, unfortunately. A lot of them are, but a lot, you know, a lot of them, a lot of them ha I haven't got the spine. I'm not hugely bothered. And sexy Parodius. There we go, Darius two. Was it Darius? Oh, it's Darius Gaiden. Blast Wind. Parodius Deluxe Pack, Strikers 1945, Thunder Force 5, <laughs> which is my favourite Saturn shooter mode, Dud Unpatchy, the first Saturn shooter I bought, Kingdom, Kingdom Grand Prix, Suki Guruntai, What should I move on to next? Uh, might as well do the next pile. Uh, Last Bronx, not shooting up, but we'll take a look at it. There we go, Strikers 1945. Last Gladiators Pinball, really cheap, but really, really cool pinball game. Um, the Game Paradise. Vampire Hunter, uh, Stack Stalkers. Now, where are my heavy hitters? Sengoku Blade, fantastic uh, shoot 'em up that one. We've got Sega Rally. Oh, I don't pull that game out there because the whole lot's going to fall down. <laughs> Um there we go. Some quite lovely uh schwups in this lot. So we've got there we go. Titana Twin B, deluxe pack. Just thought I'd show this on Einhander. <laughs> Gumbird. Uh, that is, oh, I can't remember what to call it now. Oh, 
really forgot what that's called. Uh, Choniki. Which is shit. <laughs> We've also got uh, Battle Garega pre order version. Sol Divide. Batsugun. Hyper Jewel. Wolf Fang. Lay Section 2. Radiant Silver Gun! <laughs> uh, Boomerang Cotton. Oh, Super Street Fighter 2 and 3DR. Guardian Force, another underrated uh, tank shooter there. Space Harrier. And we've also got the original A section. For some reason, Kaitai Densasu isn't on here, which is otherwise known as uh, In the Hunt. There is Vampire Saviour, though, one of my favourite fighting games of all time. Some might be some more shooting ups on here. Uh, yep, Salamander Deluxe Pack. Metal Slug with the ram with the ram pack as well. Metal Black, one of the most wildly underrated um, satin shoot 'em ups out there. And Parodius uh, Forever with Me, otherwise known as Chatting Parodius. I'm just seeing if that's in focus or not. Yeah, it is in focus. I just wondered. Uh, there we go, Kaitai Densasu. So, all the Master System games are here as well. Uh, Shmup fans would like Sagaya. I think it's bullshit. It's a shit part. <laughs> um, yeah. Let me just move this down so you can actually see it and I'm st stop ranting. There we go. So yeah, Sega Master System games here, all the way across here. Saturn games I've just been through. There's uh, some. Stop this up. There are some PS1 Japanese PS1 games here. I'll quick look at those. And this one is I can't remember the name of this. Uh, Bokan to Apetsu. Really interesting, quirky um, PS1 shooter. It's actually quite good. And Raiden Project. I am that much of a <laughs> Thunder Force 5 fan. I've got to uh, get it twice <laughs> in two different formats. Interesting game called Zeitgeist. Um, it's not a shoot 'em up, it's a rail shooter, and it's actually alright. Pocket Fighter, Darius Gaiden, da huh? Gradius Gaiden, <laughs> far better than Darius Gaiden. <laughs> there we go, Cotton 2, and if we actually go further down, I'll actually have to take this off here. Yeah, further down we've actually got quite a few um, PS2 games. Uh, there's a whole chainsaw controller there for uh, Resident Evil 4 on the uh, PS2. There's a ton of uh, PS1 games down here. There's there's a lot of schmucks there actually. Behind this uh, kind of row here, there's another row of uh, probably about 80 or 90 PS1 games. Uh, there's a Final Fantasy VIII limited edition there, and there's a, a whole stack of you know more kind of um, PS2 games, and further down uh, down here, there's all the retro gamer magazines. There's also a copy of uh, there we go, Bioshock 2 limited edition, which is one of my favourite limited editions of all time. I, I think it's a it's a wonderful one. It really is. I dug this out. 
here we go. <laughs> Bit of an unusual one. It's a Metal Gear Solid double pack. And I know something that's actually after that one. Um, and I just thought I'd put this, it on this video for them because they wanted to see it. And uh, I think that's that's really it. Um, there'll be one more part to this, and this will actually show my 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 gaming setup, the TV downstairs with the, the consoles under it, and uh, that'll be that'll be it. Um, it's quite sad coming to the end of this video, basically, because as soon as I finish this, it's going to get packed, the whole lot's going to get packed away. And whilst I've been kind of limited in this room, kind of for space, I've used it to you know its best advantage really and it's been nice being sat in here kind of with with all these games around and just yeah just basically just just playing whatever I wanted to play and just being able to escape from it all whether it's work or whether it's stuff that's going on it's been always a nice place to escape to so um, yeah thank you all for watching and I hope you've enjoyed this tour as much as I have and I will uh, I will see you all later. Thanks for watching.